So this was the period from yes, uh, 1997 to 19, uh, 2008. Um, and that was the, the period of standardization all the way to ES5. And, and uh, it was it was it was a really it was a really magical period, uh, but primarily focused at the language layer. Um, and then 2009 happens, uh, and that was a very pivotal year for JavaScript because um, in the same year, Node, NPM, Chrome, and what, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure what else, uh, all came out at once. And those those are just like new runtime for JavaScript, uh, new standardized uh, standardized uh, runtime, uh, new new package manager. You know, like just everything that we use today was formed in that. Um, I called it sort of year of miracles and as mirabilis. Um, and then that spawned like the, the second age of JavaScript, which was the, the next 10 years of building uh, frameworks and libraries and abstractions uh, that, that, that pushed forward the language, um, you know, and uh, including, by the way, you know, compiled to JS languages like CoffeeScript and TypeScript. But it, it, it you know, it seems clear that TypeScript is one. Uh, so essentially that brings us all the way up to, from 2010, all the way up to 2020. Um, and 2020 was the, like the, the first year of the third age where um, some something different was in the air. Like Deno was being announced, uh, Vite was being announced. Like there's just, there's just like, a new set of innovation that seems qualitatively different. Uh, and so my, my, just to cut the long story short, my hypothesis was that it's a collapsing of layers and it's a clearing away of old assumptions. Uh, and one of the old assumptions uh, is that, for example, one of them is we don't have a standard package, a st standard module system in uh, JavaScript. And now we do, we have ES modules. And, and now that's just a, a standard that's proliferating everywhere. Uh, and more web standards are, becoming more and more of a standardized API, even on the back end. Uh, other, other assumptions, another one would be that you have to write JavaScript tooling in JavaScript, right? For people to understand the tools that they use and contribute back. Turns out they, most of them don't. So <laughs> mm. uh, it's, especially the, the, the stuff that you run hundreds and hundreds of times more uh, than others, uh, the hot path code, maybe you want to optimize that in a compiled language uh, like Go or Rust. Uh, and you, you saw those uh, platforms start arising uh, with uh, ESBuild and SWC.